big story at 10. But America does not stand still, and neither will I. President Obama delivering his sixth State of the Union address tonight, highlighting accomplishments and future plans for his last two years in office. The president outlining a wide-ranging agenda tonight. Yeah, he focused on income equality and helping working Americans. NBC 26's Alex Hagan is live in the Green Bay Newsroom with more. Alex? The president stood before a new Republican majority hitting on domestic and foreign policies aimed at driving the debate in an upcoming 2016 election. Tonight, we turn the page. President Obama meets a skeptical Congress during a time when his approval rating is improving. Our economy is growing and creating jobs at the fastest pace since 1999. Recently, we've seen action on immigration and a move to normalize relations with Cuba. The shadow of crisis has passed, and the state of the union is strong. Tonight, the president asked Congress to make community college free, expanding paid leave for workers, tax credits for education, financed by a tax hike on the wealthy, preaching middle class economics. Will we accept an economy where only a few of us do spectacularly well? Or will we commit ourselves to an economy that generates rising incomes and chances for everyone who makes the effort? But his calls may stand little chance of winning approval. He's really setting up some agenda issues for the next presidential election to see if the Democrats will, will buy into it. It's clear tonight support for the middle class going forward into 2016 is the focus in his second to last State of the Union address. Now, the president also urged Congress to pass legislation on a five-month-old military operation against ISIS. Reporting live in the Green Bay Newsroom, I'm Alex Hagan with NBC26. Thanks, Alex. National Republicans responded to the president's speech tonight, and Iowa Senator Joni Ernst says the newly elected Congress is working to take the country in a different direction. But when we demanded solutions too often, Washington responded with the same stale mindset that led to failed policies like Obamacare. Ernst says the voters spoke loud and clear in the most recent election by bringing in a Republican majority to the nation's capital. Wisconsin senators responding to tonight's address. Democrat Tammy Baldwin says, well, we have made a lot of progress coming back, in large part due to the president's policies. Going forward, both parties in Congress need to work on continued progress instead of partisan politics. And Republican Senator Ron Johnson releasing this statement saying, quote, most of his proposals will quickly fade away as the nation turns its attention to the serious problems facing America and looks for responsible leadership elsewhere. Now, Senator Johnson brought along a high-profile guest to the president's speech tonight, Brewers all-star catcher Jonathan Lucroy. He said in a recent radio interview that it's Lucroy's charitable work off the field that makes him a hero in Wisconsin. And if you'd like to read a full transcript of the president's State of the Union address, just go to our website, NBC26.com, and click on the story. New developments.